I guess today I want you to see the Father's heart, that boundless love, that unconditional love that we can't get from any other person. We, we can't get unconditional love only from Father God. We can be, um, have problems and people don't like us when we do the wrong thing, so we don't feel loved. And all sorts of things can happen, but our Father God has unconditional love, boundless love, where he wraps us in his arms. And you know, thereby, like many people have a problem believing that because of the hurts of their own parentage many times. There's been problems with um, divorce, or there's been problems with violence, or sexual problems, things like that. So there's a doubt there that goes, how can I trust God? My father let me down. And I understand that fully. But you know what? We've got to come beyond that and we've got to say, I have exceedingly, I'm going to comprehend exceedingly abundantly above all that I could ever ask or think. I'm going to take a step further. Because Psalm 139 says that he knew you. Your book's written about you. And he knew you and chose you from the beginning when you were just a little seed in your mother's womb. When we were just a dot. And so he chose you there. So he should add, and I think I've shared this before, two vehicles that he uses, a man and a woman, that's mum and dad, but he is the one that owns you. He breathed life, he, is, he owns you, and he brought you forth through the heritage of those parents. But your heritage comes from God the Father. And so it's, to me it's an easy step and probably sounds too easy to say it because emotions get in the way. But we've got to say, Father God, I want that unconditional love. I want to step into those arms that are just waiting for me and you are so different. See, it's, a, it's grabbing hold of that scripture and saying, that's mine, that's mine. I want that because he's my Father God. I can love and respect my parents, but... Father God is my dad. And so I can trust him with every part of me. I don't have to wear a mask. I don't have to put a mask on. Because he's my Father God. He sees the beginning from the end because he's written a book about my life. It's all there. All there for me. And I don't know if there's new people here, but I'll just quickly say I was an adopted child and I always wondered about my heritage until God gave me that scripture. One of the things he gave me was that scripture because I thought I was just a mistake. So how can I be? How can I have a destiny? How can God have ordained me? But he gave me that scripture and right there where he said he knew you in the dark parts of your mother's womb. I, I almost could say I saw him go, I knew you. <sighs> breath of life. He breathed the breath of life into that egg and sperm and said, I have a destiny for this baby no matter what the circumstances. And today, if you're here feeling a doubt about who you are or if you have a heritage in God or if you have, you're written in the book or you're a mistake perhaps, I want you to know you're not. Not one person is a mistake because God is the creator of all things. God showed me so clearly and that set me on a path that was so different. I just love that scripture. But I love today, I want to focus on the fact that he's written a book about your life. You just got to tap into that book and say, that's a book I want to read. That's the book I want to know the end of. <laughs> I want to press in to get the fulfilment of what he's put in there for me. Because I can do all sorts of things and God gives us choices. We have choices with who we associate with, where we work, what house we buy, who we marry. I mean, it's easy to fall in love. We all know that. And we can fall out of love. <laughs> but God gives us choices. Choices in everything. And so... We have a choice to say, okay, I want to come to that fulfilment. I want to come to the fulfilment of my destiny. I want to walk in the path that you've ordained for me, my God.